Hey, Cam, as soon as you bring up the name Zion Nelson, um, explain this to me because for an offensive lineman to make a splash in camp, typically it's because he's a big recruit. He's got the, the low number next to his name. He's the fourth rated offensive tackle or the fifth rated offensive guard or whatever. This guy's a two star. And typically it takes a guy like that for the fan base to know that and recognize that name for him to actually play in games. Uh, if he's not a big recruit, what did this guy do uh, in workouts that kind of splashed on the scene? Well, first thing, he gained like 20 to 30 pounds of good muscle because he was a very long and lean guy. He was like 6'5", 240-ish. Um, but he's up to you – know, actually, it was 31 pounds because it was up to 271 that he officially weighed in at heading into the spring. So he was able to take his lively athletic build and pack on – solid weight in a good way not a bad way so that was the first thing and then he just went out and did the job you know even as you know i broke down the film on his recruiting notebook and reading you know from uh, his local area he went to sumter south carolina high school small town you know and things like that so he wasn't necessarily highly recruited that's why he was a two-star guy who was committed to appalachian state but if you look at his technique it was elite you know he was like First or second team all state, like he had hundred something pancake blocks, so he was productive even at being undersized, and he continued that kind of play. And even if you are solid but steady, that's going to be better than bad, which is what Miami pretty much had. And in addition, you're going to have a couple injuries on the offensive line, which is going to open the door for anybody. The staff is new. So they don't know, they don't have necessarily this carryover. So it was like a perfect storm. You know, like nobody has a defined role coming back. I've talked about that. Navon Donaldson and Delon Scaife probably are going to start, but they're probably going to be in different positions than last year. So they're new starters as well. So there's obviously an open position to be had. There's physical development. There's a foundation of technique and things like that. And like, if you just, you know, excuse my language, if you bust your ass, Sometimes I hustle hard. Like, you know, maybe there is that effort over production right now and it spins forward. So all these things kind of spun together. And, you know, all of the reports and everything, even the coaches were talking about consistency. And that's where he was. So I'm not going to say that Zion Nelson is a shoe in for left tackle. He's not. John Campbell had an injury. He's now healthy. Um, the team just did a, uh, um, community service appearance at an elementary school in Dade County today. So uh, there was an interview with uh, John Campbell, who's working at left tackle right now because he's a, you know, redshirt sophomore from Orlando, Dr. Phillips high school. He, you know, was a big time, you know, he was a medium high three-star recruit. John Campbell was almost a four-star, I want to say, but he's a guy who wants to be on the field too. So Zion Nelson is not locked into that position, but he did everything possible to paint himself in a positive light for this staff as they look for the five offensive linemen. And it's not necessarily him by himself. You know what I mean? It's not like he's doing the thing by uh, by his lonesome. I know there was one combination that had Zion Nelson at left tackle and the Navon Donaldson at left guard because you put your most experienced player next to him to be able to help out, translate the call, see, hey, okay, this player, I remember playing him, you know, you can lean the youth next to the experience. That might be a thing that could work because, yeah, you might not want to put two true freshmen over there, but by all accounts and all intents and purposes, Zion Nelson did very well by himself to or to, to represent himself, I should say, to the staff moving forward. So um, it is while I thought it was crazy and I think in his recruit notebook, I said he was going to be a 10 out of 10 red shirt. But when you add on 30 something pounds and keep your athleticism and you play with the kind of consistency and ability that he showed on his highlight film, that's the way that you make a name for yourself and start to get into that conversation to be the starting left tackle as a true freshman. Our man, JT Sounds, thank you so much for the contribution. And it's an apt a reminder for everyone out there that we've got the Super Chat on. So the only thing I'll say there regarding the Super Chat is just kind of sit back, absorb, and understand the value and the contribution that Cam brings and that we bring uh, overall here on the channel and just respond accordingly. Uh, to the Super Chat and the contribution that you can make here to Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, and to Cam's um, appearance here each and every week.